Nobody has made audio cassette tape in this country since about 1983 or 84. So the art is not lost, but the art has to be relearned. And that's, that's the secret to it. It's, it's a lot of trial and error. You've got to have the right equipment, the right materials, and then there's a tremendous amount of learning about this. Uh, learning the chemical mix, learning the mechanical part of it, and then learning the thermodynamics of uh, heating it and cooling it properly. The base film is right here. You can see it's clear polyester film, six and a half inches wide. It'll be uh, 13,000 feet long when we start coating. And it goes in here, runs through a, a static treatment that makes sure there's no static building up as it runs through the machine. The tension control begins right here. And we bring the uncoated base film across there and into this, and this is called the coating head. And the slurry will come in here in that little tube from our pressure pot into the coating head. The film is running through it, and this is called a slot die coater. And it basically squirts out or oozes out the slurry on there as the tape goes by. And we're coating a very, very, very thin thickness. It's 0 .00026 mils thick. That's the thickness of the coating going on there. Uh, once the coating is on it, then you're going to have base film with wet liquid oxide on there. And we bring it through these very powerful magnets right here to orient all of the ferric oxide particles. And then the tape enters the ovens right here. Okay. And these are very much like any other industrial ovens you would see. So the tape comes through these ovens. It will be solid brown side to side. And it comes into this machine called a calendar. Now we bypassed it right here. It'll come in off that roller and it will wrap around the center roller right here. Above it and below it, it has chrome rollers. And this is the secret to making good tape. You have to have a high grade iron ore on that oxide. Very highly magnetic. But you also want it very densely packed together and then polished to high gloss. We're going to apply between 12 and 15,000 psi of pressure to that tape as it goes through here. It will wrap that roller with the oxide side out. The chrome rollers run against it and crush it down and polish it. And when it comes in, it'll be a dull brown look like you see over there. When it comes back out, you have a high gloss brown tape that comes out the other side. That gives you the very smooth, very highly refined surface that you need for good tape to head contact. Never thought of making tape. That was never our intention. It has developed out of necessity because now we've developed a good business and contrary to conventional wisdom, instead of dying, the audio cassette is now 54 years old. It's one of the oldest formats still in use that has been very successful, that and reel-to-reel -reel tape. Uh, well, it's, re it's enjoying a resurgence and our business is very good because of it, but we thought all along that our problem would be lack of raw materials, not lack of demand for the product. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened.